Pandemic payback. Western Mass News has learned so many Massachusetts workers who were left jobless last year are now being asked by the Department of Unemployment Assistance to repay benefits that they received. Tonight, Western Mass News reporter Brasetta Landaverde is getting us answers, walking you through the step by steps, breaking down what you need to know if you're unable to pay it back. There are two kinds of unemployment assistance, regular unemployment and pandemic unemployment. According to a public records request sent by Western Mass News, in 2020, the Department of Unemployment Assistance overpaid benefits to more than 105,000 regular unemployment insurance claimants. The amount of money they were overpaid, totaling over $257 million. We're breaking down the difference and what it means for your wallet. Emily, who lives in eastern Massachusetts, was a senior in college when the coronavirus pandemic hit. Like many, she was forced to leave her dorm and lost her on-campus job. I didn't qualify. I didn't make enough to qualify for regular unemployment, so I had to do the pandemic one. Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, or PUA, was created in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic for certain workers who otherwise would not qualify for regular UI. Emily filed for pandemic assistance in May of 2020, but did not receive any benefits until August of that year. And they gave it all to me retroactively. So it was 200 a week, but I got it all plus the 300, but it was in like a lump sum. In total, she received $16,000 in pandemic benefits. A few months after, she received notice that she owed all of those funds back. The DUA tells Western Mass News that overpayments of regular unemployment benefits were ordered to be paid back. As for pandemic unemployment, the overpayments may appear online, but they have not been finalized and no action has been taken to demand collection. People are seeing astronomical amounts that they're being asked to repay. Corey Mescon, an attorney for Central West Justice Center, an affiliate of Community Legal Aid, tells Western Mass News this happened to many Americans. Often we see overpayments when someone was either paid benefits that they weren't entitled to or paid the wrong amount of benefits based on a decision that the DUA made um, with incomplete information. They could have not understood a question. They could have been um, trying to answer questions in a language that wasn't their first language. Um, or they could have simply made a mistake. Meskin tells us it's impossible to ask people to repay this money. So people aren't saving this money. People are spending this money and um, people relied on this money. Here's a breakdown of what you can do. Meskin says you can appeal or request a waiver for the amount of overpayment. If you apply for the waiver, you have to show it was not your fault that the Department of Unemployment Assistance sent you an overpayment and that it would cause you financial hardship for you to pay it back. And I can't afford my rent. I can't afford um, to put food on the table. All of those types of things. Mescon says if the waiver is denied, you can appeal that ruling. At the very least, you could prolong um, the collection of, of any overpayment. In Emily's case, she decided to apply for an appeal. And then I went into a hearing and like explained everything. And then they came back and told me I only had to pay half of it back, not the full thing. The explanation she got? Her job should have ended when she graduated in May. Therefore, her benefits should have expired then, too. Emily paid back the state half of what she received, totaling $8,000. Representative Lindsay Sabadoza says her office has received numerous calls from people looking for help. We can get a little bit faster answers to questions about uh, whether the clawback is valid. In some cases, we found that the issue, the letter has been issued by mistake. Um, so that's a, an easy fix. In other cases, um, you know, it's a little bit more complicated. And Mescon says if no action is taken for regular unemployment overpayments, the DUA can seek to garnish your tax returns or withhold future benefits. For more information, head to our website, westernmassnews.com. For now, reporting in studio, Brisa Delanda Verde for Western Mass News.